Hello and welcome to click to learn In this video, I am going to explain what is macros and how to use macros in MS Excel. So by using macros, you can automate your task which you do repeatedly. So what is macro? Macro is a synonym for VBA. VBA is equal to visual basic application is equal to macro is equal to written code that executes commands to do things in Excel. Macro allows you to perform multiple operations just by clicking a simple button. It enables you to work in a smart and efficient way. So let's come on the data and understand how to use macros and how we can automate our daily routine tasks. So in this data, what I do daily or repeatedly that I automate, uh, sorry, I format this data like uh, by applying borders and giving good colors so that it looks good. So how can I do it by using macros so that next time I will just click a button and it will be done automatically. So to use macros, you will have to go on developer tab. If developer tab is not appearing in your Excel, so you can just click on any tab, right click, customize the ribbon, sorry. Right click, customize the ribbon and here you will see developer. By default, it will be unchecked like this. So you will have to check it and then say OK. Then you will be able to see developer tab here. Now in the left hand side, you will see there is an option record macro. So click on it. First, it will ask you what is your name, macro name. So give it a name like format report. This is the shortcut. So if you want that to, you will press a shortcut key and your macro will run. So you can give it a shortcut also. But please remember that if you will give a shortcut which is used for another command like control C, uh, we use to copy the data. So if you will type here C, so next time when you will press control C, it will not copy the data. It will run your macro. So what I will do, I will type shift C. So control shift C is the shortcut of this macro. Now store macro in this workbook and you can give it a description also like this macro formats my report. Now say OK. As soon as you will say OK, it will start recording. So there is already a macro assigned to that key. Okay, I'm using Control Shift C already. So I will be say Control Shift Z or Control Shift F, F for formatting. Say okay. Now here you will see there is an option stop recording. So now what I will do in Excel, like I will click anywhere, I will select any cell, everything will be recorded. So now let's start. I will select the data. I will go on home tab click on borders, give it all borders, again click on headings, give it a color, like give it a white color, sorry, give it a black color and font is white, that's it. So I want to record only this thing. Now I will go on developer tab and I will say stop recording. Now this formatting has been recorded in my macro so next time if i will do if i will have to do this thing manually i will not do it i will just run my macro so let me unformat it remove the borders no border remove the colors say white this is automated right now what i will do i will go on developer tab click on macros this workbook here you will see your macro format report click on run so as soon as you will click on run the report will be formatted automatically so next time whenever you will have this type this kind of requirement you don't need to do it manually you will just run your macro let me show you how you can use the shortcut key also so let me unformat it again white black now 
I will simply press my shortcut key control shift F and my macro will be done. Control shift F. See, it's done. So by using macros, you can automate your tasks and save your time. I hope this video will help you. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, click to learn. Simply click on subscribe button and below. If you want to join our courses and attend our training sessions in Delhi, then you can visit our website www.clicktolearnmore.com or you can contact us also at 9711-040478. Thanks for watching. Thank you.